Let's make some custom color lookup tables in Photoshop. So a color lookup table or a LUT is basically just a collection of adjustment layers. This is essentially gonna create a certain type of filter you can put on your photos. You could drop them into graphics, have them affecting different parts of your graphic, like the photo or player cutouts, or just have them going on at the end as overall finishing effects. Photoshop comes with a bunch of presets that you should already have. If you go to your adjustment layers, go to color lookup and click this drop down right here. Here, you've got the two strip, three strip, all these different photo filters that you should definitely play around with, I feel like, especially at the end of your graphics. So let's get rid of this for now and start building our own custom LUT. So the first thing you wanna do is take whatever photo you're looking to affect and drag it in directly to Photoshop. You want it coming up in your layers panel as background. Photoshop is gonna get confused if you just start with a blank canvas of a certain size and drag your photo in and then build LUTs on top of it, it really needs to have a background layer in order for this to work. So we have our background layer. We can really take any number of adjustment layers and start layering these on top of each other. We can start with a curves layer. Basically for sports LUTs specifically, I feel like there's kind of two directions you can go. You can go more of like bright, vibrant, pop of color angle, or I would say you can kind of go with like a darker, maybe more dramatic and moodier vibe. So let's take a look at the bright idea first. With the curves layer, I am going to take a point here and just kind of lift the middle of this curve just to brighten up everything. And I also want to up the black points of this graphic. I feel like that's fairly common in sports photography to have sort of this like matte finish on your photos. So let's drop a point down here in the lower left and take our far lower left point and just bring that up. You'll see a before and after. You can look at the, particularly the black parts of the image. So that's a pretty common effect you'll see. Almost looks like it, it could be like a newspaper photograph. I also wanna add in some hue and saturation and start playing with that. So if we want it a little bit brighter, a little bit more saturated, we can boost the saturation. And you could also do this with a vibrance layer. If you go to your adjustments, click vibrance, but we'll stick with hue and saturation, just upping the saturation slightly. You can also get into the specific colors. If you want the grass a little bit more saturated. We can up saturation of the greens and the yellows. Now, speaking of colors, when it comes to sports LUTs in particular, you wanna really pay attention to your home team's jersey color and how you want that to display. And if you want it to be like totally accurate, really in line with the brand guidelines, you're gonna wanna make a LUT that shifts your photo color to whatever makes that true. I think the best way to manipulate specific colors is to go to your adjustments and go to selective color layer. Also pay attention if it's a field sport, the grass is really gonna kind of paint the vibe of the overall photo. So for this, yellows and greens, we really wanna make sure that we are capturing those colors as we want to. And of course, you can just let your creativity take over here. You know, whatever looks good to you, whatever type of effect you wanna go for. So in this example, we are going for almost like a blue-green on the grass, less of a yellow. And just by adjusting these sliders, you can see what each of them are doing. So I think lowering the magenta is a bit. So you can see it before and after. Right now we're just affecting the grass with a selective color. Now I wanna to get to the blue in the jersey. So if we go to our blues, I think like a slightly lighter blue. So let's go with, yeah, I kinda of like that. We can even lower the blacks to bring out some more brightness. And now you can see we're just bringing a little bit more detail, some more, more brightness into the shadowy parts of the blue jersey. Skin tones are another big one with any LUTs you're creating that have people in them. Skin tones are typically gonna be affected by the reds in your selective color. So if you wanna boost the skin tones, if you wanna really accentuate them, you should lower the cyans, maybe drop the yellows a little bit, something like this. And now overall, just to hide all these effects and show you before, and after. Now, if we wanna up the brightness even more, you could drop on a brightness contrast layer. You could do another curves layer, levels, exposure is always an option if you just wanna kinda of give a, a soft brightness to the whole thing. And you can also mess with the opacity on these effects, like if anything is ever too strong. Some other color options you can play with, I would recommend gradient maps. That really gives you a lot of freedom to kinda of take whatever kinda of wash you wanna put over the whole design and, and really make it your own. So if we just wanna take this one for example, you can set the blend mode to something like color, drop the opacity way down. Now we kinda of have this like, 
reddish pink hue over everything. Because this is a blue team, maybe you wanted to do like a cooler feel. So this is a good way to kind of accomplish that overall temperature of the image. So we can go with something like this for now. Kind of a, an interesting, like slightly cooler look to our original photo. So let's say this is our finished color lookup. Now we want to save this, go up to file, export color lookup tables and we can leave the description. That's just the name of the image. 32 grid points. I have it set to medium. I have cube checked as the format. That's going to work best in Photoshop specifically. Can hit OK. And we'll just save this one as bright. I'm just going to save it to my desktop. Hit save. Now, if we want to see it in action, see how it looks, go to your adjustment layers, color lookup. And then up here, just click on this load 3D LUT. And then I'm going to go to my desktop, bright.cube. And just to package all these together, I can show you that it is the same one. Just duplicating my background layer. This is our color lookup. We can hide those. And now we have the group doing it. You can see, obviously, there's no difference. We'll do one more example in this video. So I want to go to this photo right here. Let's make this one sort of a bit moodier and more dramatic. So starting with the curves layer, let's make some points and again lift up those blacks just to give it this matte feel. I think I'm going to drag this midpoint down a little bit and maybe even the, the highlights drop those down too. And now we can kind of desaturate things. I like to desaturate things with a gradient map setting it to black and white and you can really play with these dials and kind of fine-tune the contrast as you like but once you have something you're happy with just start decreasing the opacity you can see it's it's kind of accentuating the shadows and the highlights while also just dimming everything as far as a color standpoint goes of course we can go back to selective color really fine-tune a lot of these values so we might want to bring a little bit more to the skin tones but i think maybe just like slightly boosting them makes sense and we could kind of wash them out by lowering the blacks a lot that's an okay look and then for the blues you can just see it in the jersey over here i think i want to yeah i kind of like this almost more of a cyan, but kind of gives it like a teal feel, which is not true to the color of the jersey, but this is my own stylistic filter that I'm running with, so I'm gonna do as I please. Again with the grass, just trying to find a color that makes sense to me. I think I do want it a little bit darker, and so the yellows are gonna take up a lot of the grass too. It seems like it should be the greens, but oftentimes it is a lot of the yellows. So maybe something like that, quick before, and after. And if you go back down to your adjustment layers, you can also click on color balance to really play with the different shades in the shadows, midtones, and highlights. So midtones, I think this like more dramatic look typically looks better if you have a little bit more blue and cyan, specifically in the shadows, but also a little bit in the midtones. Maybe gives it a slightly more cinematic quality. Highlights, I think I wanna boost the yellows and maybe the reds and magentas some too. You can see what that did, just kind of a, a subtle shift of color. And then just going back to my curves layer, we can just kind of push this downward a little bit, but maybe still brighten up the highlights. This feels like a good stopping point. So again, going up to file, export, color lookup tables, we will hit OK, same settings, and just saving it to the desktop. We'll call this dark. And now if we want to practice applying these to a new image, you can go to your color lookups. And while we're here, I might as well show you how to like save it in this dropdown. If you go to your finder, and I can only do this on a Mac, don't know exactly where it is on the PC, but basically you just wanna get into wherever your like Photoshop app is. So I have Adobe Photoshop 2024. There's a presets folder within this. And then if you open that, it's got a few folders in here with some different adjustments. 3D LUTs is right at the top alphabetically. Now you can see all the color lookups that are already in Photoshop. So I'm just going to drag in bright and dark, drop them right in 3D LUTs. So I've reopened Photoshop. I'm going to bring up that last photo you saw, go to my adjustment layers, color lookup, and we should see in our list, we've got dark.cube and bright. Cube. So you can see how the bright one looks. I, I do like this, especially with this 
sun flare. I think that, that gives it a nice feel. And we can see the dark one as well. Definitely darker, a little moodier. Again, a good application for these is whenever you're designing in a certain template, in a certain feel, or if you're like developing your own style, just sticking with the same color lookups to affect all the player cutouts you're working with, all the photos you're working with, the cross graphics. You might have like a game day roster graphic that you always have a photo on the right side. You might have a score update graphic. You always have a photo in the center. Using these same color lookups, the same LUTs on all of these photos is really gonna help your templates feel more cohesive and it's gonna give your graphics just that much more of a professional quality. Thanks as always for watching and let me know if you have any questions.